Okay, this is an example of a piecewise graph with holes, and there are three different pieces. So we're going to look at where the two holes come from, and we're going to talk about some of the um, positions on the graph. So let's start with this first part, or this first piece of the equation. This is where the function is equal to negative 1. It's when x is less than or equal to negative 1. So that means it's going to go all the way to negative 1, and it's going to be equal. So if you notice on this red part of the graph, you can see the function is equal to negative 1 all the way up to negative 1 for x. You got negative 1, it's negative 1, you got negative 2 is negative 1, negative 3, and so on. All those black points right there would represent the whole number of points that you can find. When you connect it, it's going to extend forever that way. Now, the second part of the function, the function is equal to 1 in between negative 1 and 1. So you can see it's equal right there in between those two holes. Now, these holes you know are there because you can see that the uh, function uh, shows you that when x is between negative 1 and 1, it's not actually equal to. So it still goes all the way up to negative 1, but just not including negative 1 itself. So all the fraction values, let's look a little bit closer. Okay, so this function is supposed to be 1 here, and it is showing that the bar goes across constant at 1 on the y, but it's not going to be equal here, but it does have to include all this infinite amount of numbers in between negative 1 and 0. And then this would be a whole number point that you could find in your table. But that's the only point you can find on your table when it's going by whole numbers here on the graph. And then you must know that this is also going to be a whole because this part over here is not equal to 1, but it goes all the way up to 1. Now, the last piece of the function was where the function was equal to x. Okay, the function is equal to x when x is bigger than 1. So notice, again, this is not equal to 1 here, but as it goes uh, past 1, or immediately following 1, it's going to start following the pattern of the function y equals x. And so when you plug in 1, you're going to get 1. When you plug in 2, you're going to get 2. When you plug in 3, you're going to get 3. Okay, so here you can see on the function, the black dots represent where you could get the coordinates as you plug in each value, 4 is 4, 5 is 5. But notice that as this function goes up, there's this piece right here that a lot of people leave off because it... So this function is going to travel all the way up to 1 but not be equal to it. And there's an example of a piecewise function with holes.